Coming up today in episode 2 of the Leipzig Loco with Lokomotiv Leipzig, we are somehow top of the table after our first four games in charge, can we stay there? Probably not as we take on one of the title favourites in BFC Dynamo in a top of the table clash followed by a game against Hertha Berlin 2. We'll see if we can stay there, albeit we might have a good chance off the back of making some signings. We'll reveal those shortly in today's episode of the Leipzig Loco. Welcome to episode 2 of the Leipzig Loco with Lokomotiv Leipzig. I hope you are doing well and as I said coming up today, two big games early on in the season. First up we take on one of the title favourites at home in BFC Dynamo in an early season. Top of the table clashing off the back of that, we travel to take on Hertha Berlin 2 who early doors are down in ninth place. So if you are looking forward to these two games in today's episode as well as an update on some new players that we have bought to the club since the first episode yesterday, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and like the look of this new series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but first up today, we have played three more games off the back of that first one that we did play late in the first episode yesterday. If you missed that one, I'll leave a link to it. Over in the top right corner, early doors, it did take a while for us to get some new signings through into the club, where we did have players on trial, but thankfully, our form off the back of that 1-0 win yesterday has been pretty good, albeit we've played a lot better than the score lines in these games would suggest. Off the back of that first game yesterday, we took on Halber Start, another team expected to struggle quite a bit in this division, so be fair, it was a kind start for us in the Regional League of Nordost here at Lokomotiv Leipzig. And thankfully, we did pick up a 2-1 win thanks to late goals through Ziani. It did look for a while there like it would still finish in a draw because off the back of grabbing that opening goal, the opposition in Halberstadt did grab one back in the 77th minute. But thankfully, in injury time, Ziani did put one away, as you can tell by the stats. If that did finish as a draw, that would have felt quite harsh. So thankfully picked up three more points to get off to a perfect start in the month of July off the back of that. A bit of a break for a couple of weeks before we did get into the action in August. Then we took on Tebe Berlin at home, did drop points here with a nil all result. Truth be told, didn't actually play that well in this game, albeit based on stats, just still say we were the better team in that game, but unfortunately could not break through our opposition from Berlin. Hopefully that changes when we take on her for Berlin in the second game of today's episode, but then off the back of that, a bit better away from home against Berliner AK, we picked up another 2-1 win, this one was a bit relieving, we were well on top in the first half and thankfully got a penalty early doors in the second half, which Fifa put away, and only a few minutes later, Grimm put one away from a nice ball from Zimmer, who did come on for a new signing in Ernesto at right back. During the second half, they did grab one back late, which just made me wonder if we were going to drop points yet again, but thankfully did hold on for a well-deserved 2-1 win. As you can tell, the stat's quite similar to that previous game in the month of July, where we did also pick up the same result. So it does mean that going into today's episode, we are on top of the table all in our lonesome as one of few unbeaten teams in this league. Hopefully, we can keep that record up, albeit going to be a bit tougher taking on the likes of BFC Dynamo in particular. They were one of the title favourites, as we did discover looking at the season preview in yesterday's episode, as well as Hertha Berlin too. But before we do get stuck into the action in both those games, in today's episode, as you would have seen, we have made a few signings off the back of that first episode yesterday. As we mentioned, we were looking for a new wing back, a centre back, a left winger, and a striker just to add some extra depth in some positions where it did look like we might need some extra bodies in those areas. And we have made a couple of signings, not quite as many as I was hoping for. That is because a lot of the players that we have bought here on trial don't want the wages that we can offer them. So that is a little bit frustrating so far. It has been hard to find players who do want to join us here at Lokomotiv Leipzig with us not having the biggest wage budget available. But having a look at some players 
that we have signed of late. As you can see, we have signed four players since that first episode. To be fair, Panzo Ernesto is the most important one because he is the lone starter in the first team. Out of those signings, he is quite a versatile player, can play in the defensive midfield as well as centre back. And at right back, that is the position that we did sign him for at 23 years old. Good potential, has the potential to be a good player in the free league of the division above what we're currently in here. At Lokomotiv Leipzig, and it does mean that now we can move Zimmer out to be the backup left back. And that does mean now that our wing back situation should be under control, but a good solid player with some decent potential. Formerly spent some time at clubs in this division, the likes of her for Berlin too. And Berliner so far, two appearances. He's been okay in those. Hopefully improves with a bit more game time. But Panzu Ernesto was our first signing here since we did join the club at Lokomotiv Leipzig on a wage of £450 per week. Off the back of that, our under-19s manager actually made a few signings. First up, Dieter Gamer. He is a promising left winger. One and a half star current ability with four and a half star potential, albeit probably not a player who ideally would feature in the first team for a little while yet while he does develop that potential and also another player that he did sign Malta Huckenberg he is another left winger albeit might not actually fit into our plans being a bit further back than what we would like to do one and a half star current ability and three and a half star potential not as good as that previous signing in Dieter Geimer but off the back of that we made one more signing for the first team albeit this is an in case of emergency centre back who is going to be fourth choice, and that is Mark Lamp, the Tunisian centre-back, 21 years old, three-star current ability, five-star potential, as you can see, potentially could end up being the standard of the division above the one we are currently playing in, has spent some time at Bayer Leverkusen, and at Hanover, is a decent centre-back, quite a tall player, but he isn't quite as good as our current starters, and because of that, we aren't actually going to put him on the bench because his contract is a non-contract, but it does mean when he does make his way onto the field, we do have to pay him £675, so it is quite a hefty fee when we do play him, so it does mean that most of the time we'll try not to use him, but he will be there just in case we do suffer some injuries, and that could make things interesting in terms of our wage budget, but it does mean still we have quite a bit left over, with that one being a non-contract, still got £689 left, in our wage budget, but it's not quite enough to sign some of those better players that we did have at the club on trial during yesterday's episode, the likes of Gumpa, that good left winger at 19 years old, he was after a much larger contract than what we could offer, so it does mean that in terms of our first team, we haven't made that many changes since yesterday's episode, just that Ernesto now starts at right back instead of Zimmer, and he can provide some cover on the bench for our left back. And Saluski also starting to build up some nice green lines as well and playing with that style that we did adopt during the course of yesterday's episode with that high defensive line and that high press and hopefully it does work during the course of today's episode. First up we take on one of the title favourites for this upcoming season in Berliner FC Dynamo. They have got off to a decent start this season, two draws followed up. By two wins, they actually beat the same team that we played in their game in yesterday's episode. That was Lichtenberg 1-0 in their most recent outing, but they are currently second on the table, so an early top of the table clash. Hopefully, we can do a decent job here at home. And off the back of that, a game which could be tricky, albeit I think it's a game which might not be as tricky as I'm anticipating, because Hofer Berlin are a team in football manager who do usually end up being quite good, albeit... This is their second team, and it's one of our first games early on in this new series, so maybe their first team not quite as strong as I imagine at this stage just yet, but usually in football manager, Hofer Berlin are a team who after a few years do end up being quite good in the Bundesliga. They've been quite up and down to start their season with two wins and two losses, but being away from home, that one could also be a tricky affair, but hopefully we can pick up some decent results and keep ourselves near the top of the table, and maybe push for promotion in our first season in charge here at Lokomotiv Leipzig, and we'll come back shortly and get stuck in to the first game of today's episode, a top of the table clash at home as we take on BFC Dynamo. And it's only taken six minutes of the first highlight of this first game, this top of the table clash. In today's episode, we being at home are in our yellow with the blue shorts and BFC 
uh, in the maroon outfit. And early on here, we get on the front foot. Nice ball there for Grimm. And it falls to Ziani. Decent chance for him there, but unfortunately that one comes off the base of the post and does go out for a goal kick. Not too long off the back of that. We do have a free kick. It goes into the mixer. We get a header off. That one goes just over the bar. So some good early chances, but unfortunately can't quite hit the target. Still nil all coming up to the 15 minute mark. And we go all the way forward close to the 40 minute mark. A few minutes shy of half time. And finally BFC Dynamo do have a free kick so far. The highlights have been in our favour, but yet to really get a decent shot off, which has threatened the goalkeeper. Not good work there though from Search. And the first highlight in BFC Dynamo's favour and Christian Beck gets in behind there, which is not great from our defence. And their first real attacking threat that we've been shown in this game. And we do go 1-0 down. Not too sure there what Search is doing. Beck gets in behind. Rockets that one into that left-hand corner. And just like that, does feel a little bit harsh, albeit based on stats, which we'll see shortly when we do come back for half-time. It has been an even game, but 1-0 just shy of half-time. And indeed, that is half-time in this first game of today's episode, a top-of-the-table clash. As you can see over all the stats, actually, are in BFC Dynamo's favour. But we did get a few really good chances early on in that first half, so it has been a bit of a frustrating one. We'll tell the boys we want a better display in the second half. A few players out there not on great ratings, but to be fair, we don't have the same quality on our bench as we do in our starting lineups. So we'll just adjust some opposition instructions and hopefully get on the front foot yet again early on in the second half. We'll get things back underway. 1-0 down in this top of the table clash against BFC Dynamo. And very early on here in the second half, we do have the ball here looking to get something going and hopefully grab an equaliser. Nice and early, nice ball over the top there from Saluski looking for Ziani, but unfortunately that is a header which does get saved there by the opposition goalkeeper. Clears that one deep and we do win that one thanks to Saluski. Now Grimm finds himself in space here down this right-hand side. Inside the box, squares that one nicely for Ziani. It was a weak tap-in, but did find its way into that bottom left corner. And thankfully, early on in the second half, we do grab an equaliser. And it does feel like that is pretty well deserved based on the highlights that we did see during that first half, especially in the early stages. Yet again, we come out of the sheds looking quite good. And this time, Ziani puts the ball on target. And we get it to one all early in the second half. And while we are here, we are going to make our first substitution as well. FA has picked up an early yellow card. So we'll just play things safe and take him off. For Julian Weigel, not that one, albeit different spelling anyway than the former Dortmund man. But a good start for us in the second half. We grab an early equaliser. And very short off the back of that equaliser in our first substitution, it is now a free kick here to BFC Dynamo. They take this one short. They do pick out someone here. And somehow Gertz does get in behind our defence. And unfortunately, we are looking very leaky when BFC Dynamo do get highlights in this game. And very shortly off the back, of grabbing an equaliser, we are back behind here at home, and as you can see, that impacts the table quite significantly. Now all the way down to fifth, albeit still early days this season, but that's some poor work there yet again. The players getting in behind our defence far too easily, and just like that, our lead disappears. We are 2-1 behind. And up to the hour mark, it might be time for us to make a few more changes in this one. A few players out there only on 6.5 ratings. So loose get left back as one of those players will bring on the youngster in line no Zimmer hopefully can do a decent job for us at left back during the second half also Sasha Fefa is quite important to us as a free kick taker so a bit hesitant in taking him off but so far today he has not been up to much on that 6.5 rating coming on for him will be Teo Ogbidi and hopefully we can grab one more equaliser in this last half hour and only a few minutes off the back of those substitutions, the another highlight starts here as we do look to play our way out from the back and search starts to make his way into the opposition half. Now Ziani is inside the box, could have squared that for someone like Ricardo Grimm, but unfortunately took the shot on himself. Probably not the greatest option, so still unfortunately we are 2-1 behind and just off the back of that, a few of our players do pick up yellow cards and we do have two substitutions left. So probably a good time to use those. We'll bring on Urban for search at centre back and also Pitlika for Heinke. In the DM role, there'll be all our substitutions used. Still one goal down with just over 20 minutes left in this top of the table clash. And yet again off the back of those substitutions, another highlight starts here not too long after that. That ball is won by BFC Dynamo off the back of a clearance 
from their goalkeeper, one of the goal scorers here in Goot, starts to make his way down this left-hand side. Far too much pace there for our right back in Ernesto Beck there. Gets a header off, comes off the post. We don't deal with the rebound. Gets a second bite at the cherry. And for some reason, Dogan not having a good game on a 6.4 in goal. Just lets that one go straight past them. And it does look like we might be staring at our first loss this season. Not good work there from both our centre backs as well as our goalkeeper. And now with 20 minutes left in a bit of a hole as we are 3 1 down, albeit right off the back of that goal, which does put them two goals up. We do get a highlight here potentially in our favour from the restart. But it does feel like that 3 1 scoreline is pretty harsh at the moment, just the fact we've been a bit wasteful in front of goal, but a Tilgan here down that left-hand side puts one into the mixer for Ogbidi. That one also comes off the post this time, bit of an angle. It falls to Ziani. He grabs a double, and thankfully, that goal down the other end has been cancelled out. Rather similarly, down the other end, not too long off the back of conceding that one. Very similar, albeit the goalkeeper that time. Probably a bit more of an excuse with that one coming off at a bit of an angle. But one goal to both teams. We are still one goal behind. But these days, 3-2 with just over 10 minutes left. And just inside the last 10 minutes of this game, and it is a throw in here in our favour. We're starting to pick up some momentum off the back of that second goal to close the gate back. Two only one. Good chance the far post for a header yet again to Ogbitty. But unfortunately, that one goes just over the bar. And not too long off the back of that, it is a throw in here. To BFC Dynamo, albeit this time Ernesto does some good defensive work and gets the ball back for us here. Hopefully we can grab an equaliser. It does feel like that would be a fair result. As I said earlier, we have looked quite good, but just not put the ball in the back of the net. But we do grab an equaliser here with five minutes left. Julian Weigel, some good short passing there on the edge of the box. And thankfully, buries that one bottom left corner. Good tackle there from Clump, but thankfully Piplica coming off the bench, does a decent job there to keep the ball, good short passing a Tilgan, actually doing some really good work for us in that left wing position, one of the areas we are looking at strengthening, but so far he has been quite good for us in that role, good short passing and Weigel off of the bench, he picks up a goal to make it free all, as we do enter five minutes here of added time, as you can tell now the stats very much in our favour, certainly had the better of the second half, even though we were down 3-1 at one point. But thankfully, we do enough to grab a draw free all in that top of the table clash. A very entertaining early season affair against one of the title favourites, maybe. Just need to drop our defensive line back to standard from higher off the back of that, because those BFC Dynamo players did get in behind our defence quite easily for those first couple of goals. But thankfully, we do grab something out of that game, despite the fact that Issa Dogen and goal did only pick up a 6.2. But we'll tell the boys they've done quite well to come back and get some points out of that game, albeit it might mean going into that second one in today's episode, no longer on top of the table. But still, that's a pretty good result, considering we were 3-1 down with only about 20 minutes left in that game. But thankfully, we do pick up a free all draw, as you can see, Joint on top of the table, but now those gaps have closed quite a bit as we're about to take on her for Berlin 2 in the second game of today's episode. We'll come back shortly and get stuck into the action, as I said, probably dropping that defensive line from high to standard to see if that helps us out a little bit defensively. And we are back for the second game of today's episode. Quick look at the team sheet, seeing as we haven't done anything in between those games. Here are her for Berlin 2, as you can see, Quite a defensive formation, a 5-2-3 in terms of us. Exactly the same squad as we did have for that first game. In today's episode, doing quite well to come back and grab a point off of BFC Dynamo, hopefully, against the team who up until that point were below them on the table. We can pick up a better result, albeit Hoofer Berlin, as I said, usually in FM are quite a good team, albeit still early doors in this save in particular, so maybe not quite as good as they do become. Yet again, we are in the mostly yellow today, not wearing blue shorts, and Hoofer Berlin are in the white-blue top with the blue shorts. Good early chance there for Ziani, gifted to him, but unfortunately, Cook in goal, I believe is how you might pronounce that. Not another pronunciation, which I could get wrong. It makes a good save there on an early chance to Ziani. We do have a corner. Heinke gets on the end of, but unfortunately, Puts that one just over the bar yet again. Some good early chances, 
but still no all and not too long off the back of that. Three minutes in, it is a goal kick here in our favour. Hopefully today, Issa Dogen can do better in between the sticks. Yet again, Ziani is through on goal here. That one, a much tighter angle, but puts that one away. Yet again, a Tilgen picks up an assist, as I said earlier, doing a really good job in that left wing role for now. Maybe don't need to focus on that quite so soon. But thankfully today, we got off to a better start than we did in that previous game against BFC Dynamo Ziani, this is a good chance before, but puts away the tougher one only a few minutes later, and just shy of five minutes, we already take a 1-0 lead. And not too long off the back of that good start, now Herfa Berlin here do get the ball back as we were trying to do something there on the attack and maybe make it 2-0 nice and early, but Herfa Berlin, for the first time in this game, do get on the front foot. Somehow Ulrich there does get in behind our defence sheet again, a bit concerning having dropped back to that standard defensive line, a here there, but thankfully comes off the crossbar, loops up, and then goes out for a goal kick. So a decent chance there for her for Berlin, but thankfully it goes off target, and we still hold our 1-0 lead. And we are late in the first half of the second game in today's episode. A late yellow card there picked up by Ernesto, so we might take him off here at half time for someone like Zimmer, who did make a decent impact in that previous game against BFC Dynamo. But it does look like, so far, that standard defensive line just helping us be... A bit more solid defensively, Herfa Berlin, just that one chance around about the 10-minute mark through a header. But apart from that, we were on the front foot nice and early, did grab a 1-0 lead and have held on to it. Since then, we are going to make one change at halftime. As I said, Zimmer will come on for Ernesto off the back of picking up that yellow card late in that first half. But so far, this one going pretty well. Hopefully, we can hold on to our lead and pick up all three points here at Herfa Berlin too. And we're just making our way inside the last 20 minutes of this game. Still no highlights in the second half. It's been pretty quiet since the opening 10 minutes. But a few players out there on average ratings, plus a Tilgen, who is down to a red heart. So we'll make a few substitutions. First off, we have Ricardo Grimm on a 6.5. That substitution, pretty easy. Julian Weigel can come on for him. Now, both wingers do have to come off here. I feel like Fifa yet again not performing too well, even though he is the set piece taker. Oh, Biddy will come on for him, and also Don Blower will come on for a Tilgen. We'll just leave things as we made them once we did do those substitutions. Still getting used to these players and seeing what sides they are more suited to. We'll also move Ogbiddy to just a winger on support, but it is still 1-0 in our favour with 20 minutes left. And very short off the back of those substitutions, we do have a corner here in our favour and finally do score from a set piece. Ogbiddy off of the bench, does a good delivery there at the near post, and it is put away by our defensive midfielder in Leon Henke, even though he is the DM, he is the best hitter in this team, gets open there near post, gets a lot of help there from the inside of that woodwork, but thankfully still makes its way over the line, and hopefully that's a big enough buffer to make sure we can pick up all three points in this one, off the back of taking a 2-0 lead. Also, he's just gone down to a red heart. He can come off for Piplica and get a good rest after putting us two goals up. And just making our way inside the last five minutes of this game, it's been a bit quieter than that previous one against BFC Dynamo, where we did pick up a free all draw. Quite an entertaining game, this one. Not quite as spectacular, but still a good result, as it does look like we're going to pick up a 2-0 win. A missed free kick there from Saluski, albeit from a long way out, but overall, that was a pretty convincing performance. Not that many highlights. It does feel like dropping that defensive line to standard did help us out defensively, but we did still pick up two goals through Ziani nice and early, and then Heinke from a corner with around about 20 minutes left, and that is a very solid turn win away from home against what could have been quite tricky opposition there in her for Berlin too. And as you can see, that does mean we go back on top of the table, albeit joint with Energy Cop Bus on points, but that was a pretty good episode. Could have been a tricky one, taking on BFC Dynamo, plus her for Berlin too, but thankfully we pick up four points, are still undefeated, and stay on top of the table, off the back of a 2-0 win over her for Berlin too. And back in the inbox, off the back of those two games, in today's episode, really good comeback against BFC Dynamo, even though it was a bit frustrating how that game did go. They have very few chances shown in highlights, but scored most of them, thankfully, we put enough away late to pick up a point on the off the back of that and dropping our defensive line to standard. A lot more solid defensively as we did pick up a 2-0 win over her for Berlin too. And it does mean that we do stay on top of the table, albeit not outright 
is these days are joint on points with energy cop bus and still with a few areas in the squad too which we can improve albeit we need to be patient and wait for some players who are good enough and will be happy to accept the wages which we can offer them here at locomotive leipzig but that will do it for today's episode starting to get a bit more into the gameplay part of this first season in charge. In today's episode, if you did enjoy that draw against BFC Dymo and that entertaining game plus that 2-0 win over her for Berlin too, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so or even are enjoying this new series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. We'll come back tomorrow, hopefully again, might have a few more new signings, but as I said, we need to be patient and make sure we can find ones which do make sense with the low wages available to us here at Locomotive Leipzig. But I think we'll come back yet again at the end of the next month, which is September in between now and then. It's actually quite a tough month for us. We play some quite good teams, not that far behind us on the league table. In those first couple of games, we'll come back and play the last two games of September. In tomorrow's episode, fifth place Griffswold away from home. And then hopefully still another top of the table clash as we will take on energy cop bus at home so yet again hopefully a top of the table clash coming up in tomorrow's episode and as i said hopefully as well might have signed a few more players to add some extra squad depth here at locomotive leipzig but we'll come back tomorrow for those two games in late september so until then thank you very much for watching keep on keeping on and i'll see you then cheers don't know how I ended up, I ended up to lost, oh, oh, oh. Sink through the deep and hurt and defeat.